Hey everybody, I'm so happy you're tuned in today at the Swaggy Swan channel. I'm going to talk about the wonderful aloe vera and how I used it to grow my child's hair. If your child is born with hair or not with a lot of hair, like you see Savannah here, she did have a good deal of hair on her head. But regardless if your child was born with a lot of hair or not, I'm going to show you how to grow their hair super fast and how to get their hair to thick, healthy, long, luxurious. I'm going to show you how to do it so they too can have a big poofy girly fro and just great healthy hair overall. So, so if you're tired of your child's hair not growing, stay tuned for more and let's talk about aloe vera. All right, first things first. You guys always send me so many messages on all the aloe vera videos that I do. You guys want more and more and more. And I think at this point for the month of October, I might just go ahead and do like an aloe vera series, all things aloe vera, and just bring a whole bunch of content to you guys. You requested it, so here I am delivering it. Here is what I do. First things first, you need to get the raw aloe vera plant in order for this routine to work month after month. Yes, you can get this in a gel form in a container, but I don't have an experience with that my experience is with this what you see right here good old raw aloe leaves is what they're titled in your local grocery store gel like pulp used for burns and healing can also be used to consume you can use it in your smoothies you can even use it on your hair please do your research and look up everything that you hear me talking about with aloe vera and how it helps the hair as well as what other people are saying about it if the research and information is there please don't solely rely on me i'm happy that you guys love to hear me talk about aloe vera and show you what i do but i always encourage you to consult with a doctor first of course make sure your child isn't allergic to aloe vera with a skin patch test and use it your own experience will be the best information you can get in addition to what you research. So once you grab just one aloe vera leaf is sufficient enough, I go ahead and I put it in the little plastic baggie there from the fruits and vegetables section is where my local grocery store keeps their aloe leaves. It is literally a dollar forty nine. You know, there's our like packs of gum that are way more expensive than that. So I, I know you can dedicate $1.49 to using this stuff, taking it home and getting all of the great benefits from this actual plant and helping your child's hair to grow. You can spare $1.49, I know you can. All right, so once I've gotten the plant home, I'm gonna go over what I do next. So since you wanna get to the actual gel that's inside of the aloe vera leaf, you're gonna have to slice this bad boy up. Now inside of the gel is the good stuff. The gel is what you need. The skin is not important from the aloe vera. You see these prickly sides here too. You're gonna wanna be mindful of that because if you're not used to using an aloe vera leaf, or plant, whatever, you know. I always tell you guys, handle it gently because you can literally cut yourself with those spikes on the side. You don't need a sharp knife. You can use a simple butter knife like you see me using here. We're not gonna cut off the prickly parts just yet, but we are gonna cut this in half because you definitely will not, especially for your child's hair or even an adult's hair, you don't need the whole aloe vera leaf in one uh, treatment. You can just go ahead and use about half of it. So. This there's that gel I was talking about. You need this gel. You need this gel. Now, the whole point of the aloe vera treatment and um, why it works so great is because it's one of the most simplest home remedies ever. It's super cheap and affordable, no matter what your budget is, no matter what your situation is. Like I said, you can probably spare about $1.49 in order to help your child's hair care routine and boost their hair growth. This is why aloe vera gel boosts hair growth. It has enzymes in it, and it has amino acids in that raw gel. That is what helps to improve the condition of the scalp and the hair. So this gel, once you apply it to your child's hair, it is gonna improve the health of their scalp and it's going to boost hair growth, okay? So if you're looking for a way to safely and to quickly boost hair growth in your child's hair, this is why aloe vera is genius at accomplishing that. So as you can see here, this is when I 
I'm cutting off those spiky ends. I had uh, went ahead and used the butter knife and cut this into three huge chunks and I just put the remainder half in the fridge. You're gonna wanna store any aloe vera that you don't use in the fridge. I usually get rid of mine after a couple of days and I just grab a new one if I haven't used the other half. So once I've successfully gotten those spikes off, I'm gonna show you I discard of them safely and then I'm just going to slice down the middle of this. You slice down the middle because this is so slippery and gooey. If you can see here, yes, yeah, super slippery and gooey. Um, so when you're handling it, it kind of gets all around everywhere. So it'll be easier for you to handle the pieces as you apply it to your child's hair if you cut them down the middle like this so you can grasp it easily. And when I apply it to my daughter Savannah's hair, you're going to notice exactly what I mean. Um, if you're an oldie and you've seen my videos of applying this treatment to her hair, then you know that this is the best method possible. Uh, if you're a newbie, then you'll see exactly what I'm talking about in a little bit. So I'm just going to continue and go ahead and slice that, creating two halves there. And again, these pieces that I have here are going to be more than enough for my daughter's hair. My daughter has very, very thick, full, curly, kinky, coily hair. All of that. All of that is in her hair and you'll see. So you don't need um, too many pieces. And plus, once you puncture the aloe vera plant, it creates even more juice to come out. So um, this goes a long way. I would recommend six pieces. Voila, this is Savannah's hair. Savannah is one, soon to be two. And um, like I said, kinky, curly, coily, all of the above is her hair. And her hair really sucks up moisture. Once the moisture is in, it can retain it, but it requires a lot of daily moisture. I have a video on daily moisturizing using an aloe vera hack. Definitely check that out. But as you can see, her hair gets very dry, which is also really great when I apply the aloe vera gel because her hair absolutely loves this stuff. So if your child has dry hair similar to what you're seeing here, you're going to want to definitely incorporate this aloe vera treatment multiple times a week if you can, at least at the minimum once a week. So moving right along, I sprayed her hair first just to get it nice and damp. Please, please remember this. Let your child's hair be damp or wet before applying this. It'll make it so much easier for you. If you apply it on dry hair, that's really not great. And it's just going to take a long time. So as I'm doing that section in the back, I'm just applying one of my pieces there. And you see me puncturing it with my nail. You can puncture it with your nail or your thumb or your finger. And the more you puncture it, the more that great gel with all of those amino acids, it um, starts to come out and ooze out more and more. So one piece really is sufficient enough. So I'm just applying it there and I'm making sure not just to get the ends and not just the scalp, but to get all of her strands. That's really important guys. And again, because this is so gentle, you can begin this from when your child is a baby. I almost wish that I was up on this even earlier than I got up on this when Savannah was little because I honestly feel like I probably would have been doing this from like day one. Well, maybe not day one, but you guys know what I mean. Like this stuff really is great and it's natural. So while you guys are watching me apply the aloe vera gel, make sure you're paying attention so you understand the best way to apply it and how I puncture it and just keep reapplying. But I'm also going to go over the benefits of the aloe vera gel and also how come it is a great tool to boost hair growth super, super fast. All right, now let's get into the facts. If you want your child's hair to grow fast, aloe vera is a great tool because it helps to heal and treat the damaged cells which are start from the scalp. With anything, you have to start at the foundation. If you're repairing, healing, and nurturing the scalp, healthy hair will start to grow. Healthier hair will start to grow faster, and you'll start to see a difference, not just in the hair growth, but with healthier hair, it will grow long and it will grow thick. The gel from the plant also helps to foster new growth. So if your child's hair is thinning, this is a great option to get that hair flourishing and for it to become voluptuous. 
if your child's hair has had issues with shedding and falling out, balding for various reasons, for example, if it's falling out because there was cradle cap or an irritated scalp, lots of dandruff, lots of flaking, all these things, or even scalp conditions, medical conditions that are creating an environment where their hair is just not growing, but just falling out, thinning, or just not growing at all. The aloe vera has great properties in it that are anti-inflammatory, that are going to heal the scalp, heal the hair, and all those issues. Hence, creating an environment in the hair where it is going to grow, and it is going to grow fast. Another fact which why the hair will grow fast is because the aloe vera gel is super high in protein, vitamins, and minerals, guys. This is like literally hair food, hair food for your child's hair. If you give your child's hair food, it is going to grow. But seriously, it has antiviral properties in it, antifungal properties in it, and it's going to help their hair. And lastly, if not the number one reason it helps your child's hair to grow and fast, it has a ridiculously high content for moisture. The moisture content from the aloe vera gel is amazing. If you're looking at me doing Savannah's hair, you can see the transformation in front of your eyes. That gel has so much hydration in it that even the driest of driest hair, like my daughter's hair can get, will benefit from it. I'm telling you guys, you really want to invest in getting yourselves an aloe vera leaf and trying it in your child's hair again as long as they're not allergic and seeing the benefits of those natural ingredients and see how it works in their hair give it some time use it faithfully as you can see i apply it everywhere i constantly apply it it's quick it's easy it has so much slip that again the driest hair can benefit from it and remember, if your baby or child has dry hair, that can also be a reason why their hair is having a hard time to grow. So the aloe vera will help with moisture. And it's so simple and easy. I've gone over the facts of the aloe vera gel. Again, I encourage you, just do your research, talk to your doctor, but you are your child's best advocate for their hair care and how it will flourish. Invest in it. You watching multiple videos about aloe vera isn't going to change your child's hair. Get out, grab this stuff, and do something. So after I've applied those six pieces of the aloe vera gel in her hair, I go ahead and I'm going to wash her hair now. I'm going to use the co-wash coconut as I am product. I actually like this a lot for the fall. It's one of my top fall go-to. I also talk about if your child has really dry hair, try co-washing their hair instead of shampooing. If you want to know the benefits of co-washing versus shampooing, check out the video on my channel that I have explaining that and going into details about why I sometimes just co-wash instead of shampooing, especially in this fall season. So I'm applying the coconut co-wash throughout Savannah's hair, making sure to also so detangle in areas that I feel I need to. That's another thing. The aloe vera gel is a really great um, source if you need to detangle your child's hair. Do the detangling after you finished applying it. As you can see here, it's just gliding through with a detangling brush. It has so much bounce and her hair just looks really good compared to how we started, obviously. And boom, you can see some of the length there. I'll do another length check at the end of this video so you can really see um, without the shrinkage how far down Savannah's hair goes when fully stretched out. So after I've washed her hair really good with the co-wash, I just rinse it out with water and um, I just flip her over like that to make sure I can really get it rinsed out thoroughly. Even with it rinsed out, look at the end product. Her hair still looks moisturized. It's lovely. Her curls are now defined. I let Savannah's hair air dry. I don't do the blow drying. Um, so her hair, of course, experiences shrinkage, but I'm going to show you by braiding it where her length check is. And if you go back to our prior videos, you can see where we started and boom, we're at the waist gang, guys. <laughs> nice, healthy hair. Please invest in some aloe vera for your child. I think it would be a wonderful thing for you to at least try. I hope this video was helpful and you understand why aloe vera is great, great, great. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We love you so much. Take care.